Hi again, everyone, and thanks again for joining us for our webinar series, How to Build, Promote, and Grow Your Online Business. Today we have part three, the grow aspect of your online business. Again, my name is Henry Suarez. I'm the product manager here at 3D Cart, and by now you should have watched the first two videos in our series, How to Grow Your Store, How to Promote Your Store. Now we're going to concentrate on the growth aspects of your stores. Um, these are tools that are built into the 3D Cart interface that help you with the um, with the store after it takes off to that next level and uh, a lot of these tools will be for automation purposes to help you automate certain tasks so that you don't have to do all of the legwork. The first series of tools that we're going to discuss are the tools that help you make better decisions. Now when I uh, logged into the uh, 3D card interface in the previous webinar, the build portion, I showed you the 30-day snapshot that you have of your uh, store's business. Uh, again, this particular store is a test account and there's no business going to it, so um, it doesn't have any information on here. And your stores will look vastly different. You'll see bar graphs and all of your uh, uh, product information and selling information here. You'll also have a little graph down here at the bottom to showcase your top selling items. This is one of the examples of helping you make better decisions. If you see a product that is selling uh, uh, rather robustly, you can uh, use that information to notify yourself that you may need to order more of those products. Again though, this is just a quick 30-day snapshot. We also have individual reports built into the store that help you further along that way. Those are all under the reports section. You'll have reports for business, customer reports, inventory reports, marketing reports, et cetera, et cetera. And when you click on any one of these, for example, the business report, you'll also be given a 30-day snapshot of the profit of the store, as well as six months uh, overview, as well as a bar graph here showing you the top selling categories uh, that, that you've sold from. Again, this is just intended as a brief overview, we also have individual reports based on that uh, original topic to help you further along with making better decisions. One of the uh, ones that I want to showcase is the profit by order. Now earlier in uh, the previous video, I showed you how the products themselves have a field for the cost of the product. And a lot of our merchants tend to um, overlook the cost field and I'm here to tell you it's actually very important because you have a report that shows your sales versus profit and it uses that cost field to basically deduce what your sales were and what your profit or cost was on the sales as well as uh, uh, calculating what your profits are for it. So these are examples of tools that help you make better decisions, uh, basically the built-in reporting aspects. We also have tools that help you develop existing customers. And by that I mean taking customers that have already purchased from you, they've already reached the site, they've already purchased from you at least once, now it's time to develop them into becoming repeat customers. There's a couple of different options you can use for that. Um, one of the ones that I like to showcase is the use of customer groups. If you go to customers and customer groups, you can add individual customer groups at different pricing levels for your store. Now a lot of our merchants tend to use this in a very black and white situation. They, they have either uh, uh, wholesale customers and retail customers and that's pretty much it. Um, and I think that's a little bit nearsighted. Uh, you, can, you can use the customer groups for all sorts of things and all sorts of situations where you might want to have different pricing. For example, let's say you have a series of customers that have been with you for many, many years. Loyalty group. Make a loyalty group just for them. Give them a little bit of a discount just to incentivize them into staying repeat customers. Customer service goes a long way in, in e-commerce. So that's something you can use your customer groups for. You could also use the promotion uh, manager to create individual coupon codes just for those customers in that group. Again, you want to make those customers and develop them into becoming repeat customers. A couple of other tools we have to help you develop your existing customers is through the use of automated email scripts. If you go to Settings, General, and Store Modules, there's a couple of different aspects you can use. Um, introduced uh, new in uh, version 4, we have uh, automation rules and uh, autoresponders that you can use on your store that take basically order rules, situations that happen to an order, and 
send emails to those customers, sort of a marketing campaign just for those customers. That's an example of developing your customer groups. A couple of other uh, automated tasks that we have is the not completed orders emails and the review emails. Uh, for the not completed order emails, what it does is, let's say you have an abandoned cart. Somebody goes to your site, they purchase or they try to purchase something, they uh, get to the final checkout screen and for whatever reason, they abandoned the cart. Well, as long as their email was recorded on that not completed order, you can use this script. You can configure it however you see fit. Uh, by default, it has 24 hours. Uh, but what it'll do is it'll send an email to those customers saying, hey, I noticed you were at the store, uh, but you didn't complete your order. Was there something wrong with the process? Can I help you out? Um, I've seen merchants in the past where they take this script and they also include a coupon code. Uh, giving 5% off, just to incentivize them into completing that order and turning over the conversion. Another example is through the use of, again, it's settings, generals, and store modules. Uh, another example is the use of product review emails. This is actually a neat little script, and what it does is, uh, again, you can format it however you see fit. By default, what it'll do is it'll look at all of your orders that have shipped within the last 30 days, and it sends those users a, an email. And the, the gist of the email is basically all it says is, uh, well, you've had your product for about 30 days or, or for a while now. Um, if you don't mind me uh, asking you to fill out a review for the product. And then it gives them a link where they can fill out the review. I don't know about any of you, but I personally do not purchase anything online ever unless I've read a few reviews on it. It's just the way it is, especially with electronics equipment where there's so many variables. I would like to read some peer reviews. Well, this little automated script is automatically sending those emails to those customers. Will they all fill out a review? Probably not, but those that do will help you sell that item to the next batch of customers. So that's another example of developing your existing customers. Use them to help you generate other users as well. And last but not least, I'm going to showcase some of the automation tools that we have at your disposal. And these are tools that are intended to help make your job easier when that store takes off to that next level and, and you really need more automation instead of you doing all of this legwork. All of these tools will be found in the plugins area of the uh, 3D card interface. The first one I want to showcase is under plugins and order management, and it's called Stone Edge. For those that may not be aware, Stone Edge is a full featured order management program. It's a program that you uh, purchase directly from Stone Edge and you apply it to your computer. And when I say full featured, I really mean that it is full, full featured. Um, it does everything, batch processing, uh, uh, you know, individual processing. I believe it also does shipping of the, uh, or the shipping labels and things of that nature. Now, the question is, well, why bother with Stone Edge? Doesn't 3D Card have an order manager? Well, yeah, we do. It's under here under order manager, and this works fine. But let's say rather than just doing a couple of hundred orders a day or, or maybe 500 orders a week, you're suddenly doing 500 orders a day, a few thousand a week. Well, this may not cut it. Our built-in order manager may be a little bit limited for you at that level. So that's where you might want to look into something like Stone Edge. Now with Stone Edge, what we do is we integrate our store, our 3D cart store, with the Stone Edge program. And what it does is once you have Stone Edge installed on your machine, uh, it will connect to your store, it will download all of your orders, and from that point on, you can batch process all of your orders. And with a couple of clicks, you send those orders back to your 3D cart store, and they're completed. It's a big, big time saver. Along the same lines, under plugins and shipping, we have a couple of shipping integrations that you can use. There's Shipworks, uh, TrueShip is a good one as well. And what these are is similar in structure where they will download your orders, but rather than order management, they're for shipping purposes. They'll connect to the individual uh, uh, shipping carriers like UPS or USPS, uh, and you'll be able to batch print your labels through the program. And once those are done, it sends a signal back to the store saying this order is shipped. Uh, again, the question is, well, why do this? Doesn't 3D Card have that? Well, yes, we do. But again, if you have hundreds, if not thousands of orders a, uh, a day or a week, this might be a bigger time saver for you because you can batch process all of those orders. When your store takes off to that next level, you will have this many more orders to deal with. Furthermore, once it ships the, the product or once it lists the, the order as shipped 
on the store, an email is automatically generated from the pro or from the 3D cart store to those customers. And since it's tied already into the individual shipping carriers, those tracking numbers are also included on the order email. So not only does your customer get an email saying that your product's been shipped, it also says, by the way, you can track its progress here, and it provides them with a link. Big, big time saver as well. Another uh, plugin that uh, might come in handy is under the fulfillment area. Fulfillment centers. Um, they're basically centers where you ship your product and they house them. Uh, this comes in very useful for merchants who, for lack of a better phrase, have outgrown their warehouse space. Let's say instead of uh, uh, a few hundred orders a week, you're suddenly doing a couple thousand. You may not have all the room in your available warehouse space to house all of that product. You might want to consider something like a fulfillment service. One that I like to point out is the Amazon uh, service uh, because it's the most popular. Uh, fulfillment by Amazon, FBA. Basically what you do is you send your products to one of their distribution centers. Since they're Amazon, they literally have uh, distribution centers all over the country. And once an order comes into your 3D cart store, an email is sent to your fulfillment by Amazon service and they ship the order for you. Furthermore, since it's Amazon in this case, they also have negotiated rates with UPS so you might actually save money as well. Again, another big time saver uh, for you. <clears throat> and last but not least, under order management, I'm sorry, under the uh, shipping area here, oh there we go, it's under fulfillment, my mistake, and they must have moved it on me, uh, is international checkout. Now, let me showcase international checkout for a moment because I think they're actually pretty neat in what they do. Um, I've been dealing with the e-commerce for almost 10 years and one thing I always consistently see with uh, uh, online merchants, especially when they're first starting out, is when that first international order comes in, it can be a really, really scary prospect. Uh, there's so many questions. Is it a valid credit card? Is it fraudulent? Uh, when I go to ship the product to, let's say, uh, Melbourne, uh, sometimes the shipping is more expensive than the actual product is. What happens if they exchange it? What happens if they return it? Uh, so many questions that it's gotten to the point where a lot of merchants simply refuse to, to deal internationally. Um, and, you know, it, it can stunt some of the growth. Well, this company, International Checkout, came out with a rather creative solution to the, uh, to the process. Basically, what you do is you sign up for International Checkout, and it's a free sign-up. And all they do is they create a profile for you on their service. And then, through integration, we'll add uh, a button to your uh, uh, site. And the way it works is this. Let's say you have a customer from Beijing, uh, China. He co comes to your store, adds a product to the cart, when they get to the final checkout page, they'll see a button very similar to this one. And it says, if you live outside of the US, click here for international checkout. Once they click on that button, they, the product, the cart, everything is taken to your profile at international checkout where they complete the order. They'll pay for shipping there, they'll pay for the product, they'll pay for everything. They'll pay it to international checkout. Within 24 hours of that order being processed at international checkout, a representative from International Checkout will go to your store, they'll log in, and they'll purchase the product on that customer's behalf. Here's the beauty of it all, though. When you're paid for the product, you're not being paid by the, the Beijing credit card. You're being paid by International Checkout. It's their credit card. They're US-based, so you're being paid by a US credit card. Furthermore, when you send and ship out the product to the international customer, you're not shipping it to Beijing, you're shipping it to Van Nuys, California. International checkout takes care of the rest. They'll take care of the customs, they'll take care of the tariffs, uh, they'll take care of shipping it to the uh, customer, they'll also take care of any returns or exchanges that need to happen, uh, they'll follow your return policy to the T in order to process those returns. Uh, they'll take care of everything. So right then and there, you're being uh, paid domestically or in domestic dollars, shipping domestically, all to service an international customer, thereby opening your store to a broader market. So uh, it, it's a rather interesting uh, uh, solution they came up with. And the best part is that for you, it's free to sign up. So uh, I highly recommend them. I think they came up with a really creative solution. And uh, uh, a lot of our merchants have had good successes with them. So uh, give them a try if you ever uh, 
want to ship internationally. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it, just the tools available to you to help you grow your store when it takes off to that next level. Again, I want to thank you all for watching our series of videos here. Um, if you ever have any questions, feel free to send us an email. Again, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, we're open 24-7. Uh, we have technical support via chat, email, uh, 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 also telephone support 24-7 for you. Uh, these links here on this thank you page are basically useful knowledge links that will uh, come in handy if you want to learn more about 3D Cart. There's obviously the 3D Cart homepage. Uh, we also have a link to our KB, our knowledge base. Um, this is where you'll find all of the various tutorials, videos, everything that is about the knowledge base of 3D Cart is at that link, support.3dcart.com. You could also submit support trouble tickets from that portal as well. And for those of you that are already uh, 3D Cart uh, customers. If you haven't become part of the forums yet, I highly recommend it. Uh, the forums, we have a great online forum community that's made up of um, existing customers that have been with us for a while, but not only have they been with us for a while, they've also been in the e-commerce business for a long, long time. These guys are experts, and it's such a great collection and, and, and sharing of information, uh, techniques, things of that nature. Um, we'll often see a brand new user uh, uh, showcase his new site and ask for tips and while everybody is is brutally honest they do so politely um, and th believe me they, they know what they're talking about so I highly recommend the forums uh, if you'd like have a look at our 3d cart blog.com that's where we have our blog postings lately we've also been favoring some blog postings from actual customers who are experts in uh, in um, their particular field uh, you've already seen our YouTube uh, um, a link because you're watching these videos so uh, that's there for you as well our Twitter and again our phone number 800-828-6650 we're here 24-7 and we're here to help you um, I want to wish you all the best of luck with all of your stores and I look forward to uh, seeing your stores on 3D Card and seeing the, the success of your stores thanks again everyone and have a great day